Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is John and I'm a full-time engineer. On the side, outside of being an engineer, I'm a photographer and videographer. I shoot a lot of weddings, products, and vlogs, just like this. Today, I'm gonna to share with you about my favorite quick release system that I've been using for the last few months. And in my opinion, it is the best quick release system for 2022. So let's go back in time a little bit. About nine months ago, I made a video talking about the Ulanzi F38 system and how it was the best just quick release a, system that really I've cool used product. and how I recommended it. Then about two months ago, I made a video talking about the two flaws that I found with the Ulanzi F38 system and how I changed my mind and, and, and did not recommend it as much. And since then, I've received a lot of questions from DM, from comments asking, okay, what is the next system that you've been testing? Because I teased in that video that I'm testing a new system and I've been using it. I really liked it. So a lot of you guys are interested. This new system that I've been testing has been in the market for a while now. I would say it's been in the market since 2020, maybe 2021, I don't exactly know. And to my surprise, as good as it is, it's not very well known and it hadn't blown up yet. And I'm not exactly sure why. So what exactly have I used this new system for? I've used it to vlog like I am right now. I've used it to shoot events and I've used it on wedding days where I've used it on my monopods, where I've used it on my gimbal, where I've used it on my tripod and I've just loved it. it. It's just been awesome for me during that quick pace, quick change, where I need to go from one piece of equipment to the next really fast and it just worked. So I can really say that I have really put this system through the test the last six months or so and I've really enjoyed it. It just worked for me when I needed it to work and it did not give me some caveats as I worked through my workflow. So before I go any further and tell you what the company is, let me go on and tell you that this video is not sponsored by the company. They did not pay me to say anything in here and they didn't send me the products for free. I pay for these products out of pocket because I wanted to test the system and I really liked it. So whatever I say in this video really is the honest truth and is how I view the product. I say all this because sometimes I feel like YouTubers and influencers get paid by these certain companies to represent a brand or they were given a product and they feel like they have to say something nice and they can't say anything negative in hope to keep the relationship for future products coming. That just created some mistrust between me and these influencers and some of them are my favorites. It's just that I've been burned one time too many where I trust what they say and I go and buy the product and I bring it in and it's just doesn't work. They leave out these little pieces. So saying all that to say, I am gonna give you my honest opinion about this product. The product that I'm talking about is called a PGY Tech Snap Lock System. It snaps and it locks and that's it. It's pretty simple, it's pretty foolproof. Here's what we would call the base system and here's what we call the adapter plate and the two just simply snap together. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I like and some of the things that I dislike about this product. One of the things I really like about this product is the size. Both pieces, the adapter plate and the base plates are fairly thin. And together, they are pretty thin. The adapter plate can fit on the bottom of my camera. It barely sticks out any and it's barely noticeable when I take it in and out of my bag. So I just keep it on there permanently. I don't believe that it's the thinnest system out there. However, compared to things like my gimbal plates and the plate for my tripod and the plates for my monopod, it's still a lot thinner and it's just fine. I've had zero issues keeping the adapter plate permanently on the bottom of my camera, taking it in and out of my bag, traveling with it and vlogging with it and I just keep the base plate permanently on my tripods. I keep a base plate on every tripod and every monopod for me to quickly switch in and out. There are two ways that the base plate will mount to your system. Either via Arcar Swiss, like here that you have, or it will mount by the quarter 20 on the bottom. So using either Arcar Swiss or the quarter 20 plates, I can basically mount this base plate to anything monopod, tripod, gimbals. This adapter plate though is what makes this a win for me. One of the issues that I've always had, regardless of which adapter plate I've used, is that the camera can twist loose, which was the biggest problem with the Ulanzi F38 system, is if I just happen to bump the wrong way, 
the and now bond this between the adapter loose. plate and the camera will break and then I have to find a tool to retighten it. On the PGY Tech adapter plate, it has a thrust needle roller bearing patented where it basically is a spring in here that keeps, your, keeps this bond from breaking loose. So when it's on your camera and your plate happen to twist, the screw remains in place and the bond never breaks. So you don't ever have to retighten it on your camera. If you happen to bump it, you just twist it back and everything is fine. It's what they market as anti-loosen and it really works. This is what really sealed the deal for me as the best system in 2022 because there are no other systems out there like it. There's nothing out there that makes sure that you don't need anything else in the field to make your system work. Everything else at the bond with the break between the plate and your camera, you have, to, you have to fix it or else it just doesn't work anymore. If it's on a gimbal, the gimbal will sense that the camera has rotated and it's unbalanced and it just doesn't work. There was one time I was shooting a wedding and it was sunny, bright outside and the photographer was directing and I was walking. Well, I took my camera off the gimbal to shoot handheld for just a minute. Then I went and put it back on the camera twisted and because of that the gimbal just became unbalanced and I had to stand there and rebalance the gimbal. How embarrassing was that? Not only that I missed shots. Ever since I switched to this system I haven't missed a shot. I could easily go between the gimbal, the monopod, the tripod, back to the gimbal and that's exactly what happened at this wedding that I just shot two weeks ago. I went from the monopod, put it down, put it on a tripod, went in fixed my camera in the back, came back, took it off the tripod, put it on the gimbal and walk around and everything just worked. And, and that is what's important to me is for it to work during the wedding day. So we really can't talk about product without unboxing it. So I'll go through this quickly. It comes in this little box. And to be honest, I'm not sure why the box is so big. Pulling out of the box, it's in this molded tray and there's your product, the base and the adapter. There's some warranty information and some instructions that I never read. It comes with a tool and a sticker. You can buy this system of just the base, just the adapter or both together. Because I only run two cameras, I don't need a bunch of adapter plates. So I bought two systems that comes with a base and an adapter and a bunch of extra bases for the rest of my mounts. If the piece of equipment you want it to go on is Arca Swiss, you just tighten the base onto it. If it's got a quarter 20, you screw it in just like I mentioned about. The adapter plate, you just tighten on the bottom of your camera. What I like about this base plate in this system is the four directional enclosure. So it captures your adapter plate in four directions and it's just secure and it's tight in there. And you put the switch on and it's just not going anywhere. Just like all of the other quick release manufacturer, they have a tripod that, that adapts to this plate. They have a backpack straps that adapt to this plate. Um, one of the products they come out with is this little handheld tripod for vlogging. I love it. If you have never heard about it and you're a vlogger or you're just a videographer and you want some quick and simple that you can travel with, I can make a video about this. Just leave me a comment down below because I love it. It's, it's probably one of the best investments I've made thus far for my vlogging um, career. And just like everything else, once you buy into an ecosystem, that's it. You have to stay with that ecosystem. You can't go anywhere else. I can't use this on a Peak Design. I can't use this on a Falcam system and vice versa. You can't bring that, those products over here. But if you have something like a Peak Design tripod that uses an Arca Swiss, then you can mount this onto that. So if you do decide to pick up one or two or five of these like I did, uh, which I recommend you do because I really enjoyed it, it really has helped my work a lot made it a lot easier, a lot smoother, and a lot faster. I have a few cautions, or what I say I don't like, that I would like to give you so you can think about it before you go and purchase it. One of the things I don't quite like about this is they are somewhat pricey. I think it's $40 for the whole system together and it's $30 for just the base and it's $20 for an adapter plate. It is expensive. If you buy five of these, you know, that's 200 bucks that you just spent. But I think it's worth it. It sure has been worth the money as opposed to the Ulanzi system, in my opinion. The one caution I would give you is to use this as intended. So what I mean by that is when it says snap lock, make sure it snaps. 
when I first bought this and it's expensive and I'm very careful with my gear, I didn't want it to snap because I didn't want to scratch the paint and all that. So I would use a little switch on the side to ease it in. And because of that, sometimes I didn't know that it fully catches because I didn't get that positive engagement. When I hear that, okay, it's locked, it's in. And, and because I was carefully trying to squeeze the thing to let it in slightly, I didn't know. And always use this slide lock and make sure that it locks. I have two stories to tell you about why I said what I just said. About a month ago, I was shooting a wedding in a church and I had to be in the balcony because the preacher didn't want me to be on the ground, whatever. So I was shooting that wedding with a 70 to 200 on my camera, which is this big and hefty lens and it's fairly expensive and it was on the camera and everything was fine, everything was done and I went to move it and I picked up the camera and I was carrying the whole thing like this. It's a good thing I did because I didn't have this locked in carefully. I didn't slide the adapter plate to the lock position. So when I went and picked it up, my tripod was heavy enough where that came loose. So had I been carrying it by the tripod by itself, and not the camera, it would be very likely that the camera would have pulled loose and fall on the ground. And the other story, which with the same setup and the same tripod, I was shooting a wedding two weeks ago and it was higher and I, I went and put my camera up on the tripod and I thought it was snapped in, but it didn't. And I didn't lock it again either. So I turned to walk away and the camera fell from about eight feet and it just happened, it caught me in the face right here. Um, I'm really glad that it hit me instead of the ground because it would have hurt a lot worse. In short, always make sure it's secured and in short, always make sure that it locks. The system will not lock if the plate is not in there all the way. So that's your double check. And I think the other thing I said I didn't like about this system was it requires an Allen wrench to lock the plate onto your camera. But it's not so terrible because after you lock it once, it stays locked. It, it doesn't ever come loose. So all you have to do is lock it down once and then that's it. Ever since I bought the system and put it on my camera, I locked it down once, not again. I haven't even had to re-tighten it as opposed to other systems where I have to re-tighten it constantly every time I take it on and off. So it's not too bad. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you decide to buy the system, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you have other systems that you like a little better, for whatever reason you don't like the system, leave a comment down below because maybe it's something I've missed and I could learn from it. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.